Hey, how's it going guys? Wonderful here. And today I'll be showing you these four amazing scripts for Blocks Fruits. So as you can see, these are all four of the scripts right here. And if you guys want to know what executors these are going to work on, they're going to work on my free no-key exploit called Vega X. I'm going to leave a link for this in the description. Or you can join my Synapse X giveaway. But yeah, so all the links for that are going to be in the description. And I'm going to start over here on the Xenos Hub GUI. So you guys can use whichever GUI you want. I actually think this Evil Hub one is a little bit better, but I'm just going to start on this one because it's a little bit bigger. But yeah, so the first thing you want to do for auto farms is come on here, select your weapon. So I'm going to do combat, but you guys can also do whichever fruit you have or even like your gun or something. But yeah, so I'm going to do combat and then just click auto farm. Actually, let me disable fly first. So now turn on the auto farm and then just like this, give it a couple seconds and then boom. So as you can see, it's just gonna like teleport me above them and then punch them. And this is really, really OP because if you look, look down here, you can see my XP actually goes up. And since there's like a two times EXP event right now, I'm gonna get a ton of levels really, really fast. Just like this, boom, leveled up. But yeah, so I think you guys get the idea. I'm gonna disable this for now. You can leave that on however long you want. You can even leave it on like overnight and just get like thousands of levels. And you can even come over here and actually farm your bosses. So you don't only need to do these little tiny baby mobs, you can also do your bosses. So pretty cool. And you can also come over here, teleport to any island. And you can even teleport to ones you haven't unlocked. So let's say I want to teleport to the marine ford as a pirate. Okay, let me disable fly really quickly. So teleport to the marine ford and now I'm here. And while I'm here, as you guys can see, there's actually a pretty sweet chest over here. So if you're wondering how I have all this like ESP, that's actually on the Evil Hub GUI. So if you come over here to the ESP Raid section, you can ESP Players, and that's just going to get rid of it. You could do Chests, you could do Devil Fruit. Are there any Devil Fruits? Okay, so it doesn't look like there's any Devil Fruits. You could do Flowers, but yeah, so pretty cool. Let me just get this chest really quickly. Boom, free money. But yeah, so I think you guys get the idea. On this tab, there's also a Kill Aura, and that does not work for mobs. It's only for players. So if you're like 1v1ing someone or something, you could do that and you're basically going to win every time. But yeah, moving back on here to the Xenos Hub GUI, you can like do all of this stuff over here, which is going to teleport you to the NPCs. So I don't even have this thing unlocked and I just teleported to him. And I think you can even like talk to him. Yeah. So you could like do the abilities and whatever that is basically whenever you want. So I'm just going to click never mind because I don't really want to do that whole cutscene right now. But you can also come down here and also upgrade your stats. So if you're wondering what this is, if you come over here, as you can see, I have like three points right now. And let's say I want to put it into melee. So I'm just going to check this and then boom. So as you guys can see, it just puts all of those points into melee. And if I was to check like two of them like this, it's going to put half of them into melee and half into defense. So really, really OP if you leave that on while you're auto farming, because then you'll get your upgrades while you're farming and it just goes hand in hand. Really fun. Moving on to the ESP on here. This is basically the same thing as this, so I'm not going to showcase it. But if you come over here to raid only, it's actually a little bit better than this. So if you look over here, you can only do a dungeon, but for this, you can automatically raid. So you don't even need to like do anything and it's going to automatically raid all the dungeons for you. And you can even turn on kill aura for it. And over here is where the really good stuff comes up because as you guys can see, you could check any fruit you want in the game and it's going to snipe it for you. So if any of these things spawn, I'm going to get them. Let's say I want, uh, let's say I want magma, quake, dragon, control, dough, basically all these good fruits, you just check them off and whenever they spawn in the map, it's just going to give them to you. So really, really OP. I actually got this chop fruit with that and I actually had this rumble fruit like a little bit ago because of this but yeah so pretty cool i'm just going to disable these just like that and yeah so you can also buy anything you want from here so you don't need to like go over there and buy it i'm not going to do that because i'm kind of broke but you guys can buy whatever you want and here's the final settings if you want to join their discord server you can but yeah so moving on i'm going to come over here to the evil hub gui and since i already showcased some of this i'm going to move on to the players tab so this actually lets you kill, teleport, or spectate anyone. But let's say I want to come over here, select this guy, this random guy. I can just teleport to him. Okay, I don't know why it's not selecting him. Let's do this guy. 
teleport, boom. So now I'm teleporting to him and you can even kill him with this if I wanted to. I'm not gonna kill him just cause I don't know what level he is. But yeah, so pretty cool. You can also do your aimbot with your gun and like kill them with your gun as well. So you don't only need to kill them with combat. But I mean, as you guys can see, this is how you do it. So I don't really think he can escape this. Let's see, can he? It just keeps teleporting me to him. Let's see if he dies. Okay, so I just skipped the video to when he's low health. Let's see, is he gonna die? And boom. So, okay, I don't know why I didn't get a reward. Oh, level difference is too high. So yeah, that's basically how it works. And oh my god, I almost died there. So another thing you look over here, if you do remove water, it's gonna remove all of the water. And this kind of looks pretty cursed right now. It's just like no water on the whole map. But basically, now I can just go below. And oh my god, okay, never mind. So I guess you can't. It says, yeah uh remove water has damage so i guess you still take damage and i guess i don't really know why you'd want to do that but you can do it and if your fps is kind of low i mean mine's not too low but you can always do this fps booster thing and you can even lock your level for auto farms so if you're wondering what this does let's say i want to stop at level a thousand and i could just come over here click lock level and whenever i'm auto farming it's just gonna stop when i reach that so pretty cool and i think that's all the good stuff over here you can also come over here and bring all of the fruit straight to you. So of course, this is really, really OP. I don't really know how this works, but whenever they spawn, it's gonna teleport them to the floor next to you. So yeah, pretty cool. You could also buy one if you want to. I don't know why you'd want to though. And yeah, so if you're trying to like do some really fast auto farming, you can also server hop. So if you're wondering what S hop means, that stands for server hop. And if you come over here, you can just click this and it's gonna get you a stats refund. So pretty cool. You can also do any of this stuff. These are two separate scripts, by the way. If you want to get Magma Hub, you can. But yeah, so moving on, I'm going to come over here to this. And this is actually a new script I've never showcased on the channel before. And let's just test it out right now. So you can do Remove Fog, which basically just clears up the atmosphere in the map. You can see a little bit better, I guess. You can bring fruit. So the reason it says detected, that just means that their anti-cheat like kind of detects it sometimes. But I mean, you don't need to worry about that. I've never been banned with it. You can also just do fruit notify, which is just going to notify you when something spawns, but it's not going to give it to you. You can do infinite stamina, which is for like your dashes and your abilities and all that stuff. You can also switch your FOV. So I like keeping it at default, but if you want to make it big, you can. And yeah. So this hashtag level thing is actually just the same thing as the auto farm. So I'm not going to showcase that. This is just a boss farm and stats. But here's the credits for this. It's a really, really nice GUI. They actually themed it to kind of look like Discord. But yeah, so pretty cool. And I think that's all there is for this GUI. So this is the final GUI. And I'm not really going to showcase it because it's, again, basically the same as these other two. But I mean, I guess I could go through really quickly. You can like do over here. You could like basically switch anybody's hitbox. So let's say I want to make someone's hitbox really big. I could do this, which I think is like 60 times the normal size, so you'd probably want it to be a little bit smaller. But yeah, so that's how you do that. You can teleport to any NPC, just like the other one. And let me get out of fly to show you guys. Just like this, teleport to NPC, and boom, now I'm here. But yeah, so I think you guys get the idea. This is the GUI. It has like some weird thing over here with Discord web hooks. But yeah, so hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you can, and as always, peace.